I'm Anil Kumar and I have taken up a difficult test question which sometimes students may not get right. Now this is on transformation and graphing of the function and also to find x, y intercepts. So what I've done is that we'll discuss this question in two different videos. Here is part one of the video. So the question here is determine asymptotes domain range x intercept and y intercept of y equals to half log to the base 3 of minus 0 0.5x plus 2 plus 4. Now to find all these things let me first rewrite the equation as such. I could write this as y equals to half of log base is 3 for us and we'll factor minus 0 0.5 which is minus half right. So when you factor this you get x and dividing uh, 2 by minus half we get minus 4 uh, plus 4 right so that becomes your function when you write like this it is uh, very easy to read many of the parameters for this transform function so let's begin with the asymptote now so we, what kind of asymptote do you expect in a logarithmic graph always you have vertical asymptote right so we are looking for vertical asymptote let me write v for vertical asymptote and normally the vertical asymptote is at x equals to 0 but in this particular function that there is a horizontal translation of 4 units to the right. Do you see that? So because of that, so x minus 4, vertical asymptote is at x equals to minus 4. Correct? So on a graph, you will see it right there. So this is 4 for us. So we are making a rough graph here. In the next video, we will actually plot the graph. So that is your vertical asymptote, which is x equals to 4. And this is the reason for it is the horizontal translation of 4 units. Now the next question is domain. And then how do you find the domain? Since the range is, let me talk first about the range. As far as the range of the logarithmic function is, is always y belongs to real numbers. So let's just blindly write it and now discuss about domain okay now domain is changed by the terms inside it so we do see a reflection so we have here minus so what does that minus indicates minus indicates the reflection on y axis right so if i reflect the graph on y axis then instead of the original functions original function domain is x greater than 0 so it becomes less than 0 and since we moved 4 units to the right it becomes less than less than 4 right so that becomes the domain for us so it is x belongs to real number where x is less than 4 right I hope you understand and appreciate why it is so so we are comparing our function with log of x so so if you see the function log 3x, in that case, the domain is domain is x is greater than 0, correct? But in this case, there is a reflection on x-axis. The graph has to reflect. So it reflects on this side and then moves 4 units to the right. So basically, we are expecting a graph which is kind of like this. Do you understand? So it's just a rough sketch. So that gives you that the domain is on the left side of the vertical asymptote, correct? Now let's find x-intercepts and y-intercept. x-intercept is a point where y value is 0. So to find x-intercept, what should you do? We have to equate y equals to 0 and solve for x. So let us write this as 0 equals to half of log 3 of and then let me use this equation itself minus 0 0.5x plus 2 plus 4 right so to solve this first thing is we'll do take 4 on this side so we get minus 4 equals to half of log 3 and this is 0 0.5x plus 2 and then we'll multiply by 2 so we get minus 8 equals to log of 3 minus 0 0.5x plus 2 and then we'll, we can write it in exponential form. So we get 3 to the power of minus 8, right? Equals to minus 0 0.5x plus 2. Now, 
So that means we'll now take 2 on this side. So it becomes minus 2, right? When you take 2 on this side, this is plus 2 here. It becomes minus 2. So we get 3 to the power of minus 8 minus 2 equals to minus 0.5x. And then 0.5x is half, right? And with a negative sign. And then the value of x is equals to, you could do, you have to multiply by 2, right? So it is minus 2 times 3 to the power of minus 8 minus 2. So, so that is what you get as the x value. So we can use the calculator to solve it. So what we have is, we have minus 2 within brackets, 3 to the power of minus 8. So we have minus 8, right? And then we have minus 2, minus 2, bracket close, equal to. So we get 3.999. So we get a value of x as equals to, uh, let me write down here, that x is equals to 3.999. So you can see it is very, very close to 4. So it's very, 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 very close. So the graph actually goes very close to 4. So our x-intercept is very close to 4. So that is the x-intercept, right? Now let us also find the y-intercept. So we are using this space now to find y-intercept. y-intercept is a point where x is equal to 0. So we'll substitute x equals to 0 in our equation and then solve for y. So y equals to, y equals to half of log to the base 3 of. Uh, so when I write 0 here, so I get minus times minus 4, which is plus 2, right? So which is log 2 and then plus, plus 4, right? This is what we get. Now, how are you going to calculate log 3 of 2? We need to change the base, right, to calculate this, this, right. So we will do half of, so we could change the base, and let me write it in brackets. We have log of 2 divided by log of 3, right. So that is how you can calculate this value, plus 4. Let's do it. So we'll use, so half is 0 0.5, so 0 0.5 within brackets. We have log of 2, bracket close, divided by, log of 3 bracket close bracket close for this and then plus 4 equals to so we get a value which is 4.315 so the y intercept is 4.315 right so we have y intercept as 4.315 so let us write down our answer so we have x intercept at x equals to 3.99 and y intercept at we can write 0 4.315 correct so y intercept is more than 4 so kind of here x intercept is here so more accurate graph will be something which will go kind of like this i mean you get the point so it close right so it's a smooth curve. it's a smooth graph like this which is going to be your graph right now in the next video we'll ex actually graph this out using these values of x-intercept and y-intercept. But in this case, I hope you understand how to find domain range x-intercept and y-intercept for a logarithmic function. That's a very important criteria. And also change of base, which we applied here, to calculate log 3 of 2. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.